Take a good look at the Potomac, boys. Or take your choice and look at Lieutenant Juanita Redmond, the redhead. Or her pal, Captain Ruthie Parsons of the Army Nurse Corps. Who are these young ladies? Take a good look. Have a good listen. Juanita, do you think much about Patan and Corregidor these days? Oh, yes. Sometimes it seems as though I left Corregidor last week instead of a year ago. I bet you're glad to get out of that place. No, really, it's heartbreaking to leave those girls and boys behind. Where were you on December 7th? I was in Manoa, except December 8th, Philippine time. I was on light duty when I heard the Japanese had bombed Pearl Harbor. But even then, I thought it'd be some time before they started in on us. But the same day Pearl Harbor was bombed, Jap planes came over Manoa. They took everyone by surprise. Panic stricken, many people lost their heads. After the first raid, the Japs came back day after day. The damage was horrible. The day before Christmas, we were ordered to the town to set up the old hospitals. And along the roadside, I saw the results of the Jap bombs. Natives trying to save their belongings were strafed on open roads. There was no singing of carols that Christmas Eve. After the town, I was transferred to Corregidor across the bay. Finally, six days before Corregidor fell, I was evacuated to Australia. This Japanese film was coming to our hands, and vividly it brings back the days I spent on Corregidor. I know how desperately our men fought. By the time I left, munitions, food, and supplies were practically gone. As General MacArthur said, Never did an army do so much with so little. We all lived in tunnels like this under the constant bombardment of Jap planes and guns. This Jap movie shows the enemy climbing up the embankment for the last attack. They hit Corregidor with every man and gun they had in the Philippines. And they were a merciless enemy. I had just arrived in Australia when I heard of our surrender on May 7th, five months after Pearl Harbor. I know how our boys hated this moment. I knew a lot of them well, and many of them I had nursed in our hospital. They fought until they had nothing left to fight with. It must have been heartbreaking for General Wainwright, our commanding officer, whom we all loved, when he had to meet General Warmer, commander of the Jap forces. The Jap must be proud of this scene. And they must be proud of their general. Yes, Manila, the town, Corregidor, all in Jap hands now. The news is different this year. Ruth, I wish those men of ours that are held prisoners by the Jap could know that the help that they've waited for for so long is well on the way and that they're not forgotten. You're damned right they know, Lieutenant. Help is on the way. The kind of help we wish we could have sent them when their back was against the wall on Bataan and Corregidor. But it took time and sweat to build those ships, which are pushing their way across the Pacific today in ever-increasing numbers. And it took months of training to build a fighting army, too. But now we're rolling. Now GIs from Atlanta and El Paso, Green Bay and Three Rivers, are jamming the docks of Melbourne and Sydney. Guys and fighting equipment from the USA, down under to do a little job. Guadalcanal, Buna, at two. That was only a beginning, Lieutenant. Only a beginning.